Hey everybody, it's Tracy. It's about quarter to six in the morning on the day that I go have my DHE infusion and I did not sleep well. Uh, starting at about one, a little after one, I kept waking up like every 30 minutes, 45 minutes, doze off, wake up again, look at the clock. So I'm tired. Um, the good news is, is that I woke up this morning and my neck feels fine. It's not hurting really bad or any worse from the steroid injections yesterday. And I have my usual migraine, but, and I've got a little bit of a headache probably from the steroids, but everything I'd say right now, my pain's probably a five, which is pretty good. So, um, I am going to, um, get ready. Uh, my appointment is at, um, nine. And it's about an hour and a half from here. So, and then, you know, you've got rush hour traffic because we're heading towards the city. <clears throat> My husband's taking me and he's not going to get much sleep. He works second shift. And so he leaves at one o'clock every day and, it, and he works an hour away from the house. So he's got a two hour commute drive every day. So um, he starts work at 2.30, gets off at like 10.30, doesn't usually get home until... Quarter to, one, quarter to 12, you know, almost midnight by the time he gets to bed, you know, if he eats and takes a shower and stuff like that, you know, it's one o'clock, sometimes 1.30. So he was kind of coming to bed when I started first waking up. So he is not going to have a lot of sleep again today because he had to take me yesterday. So I'll check in when we're there to see how the infusions are going. So, well, there's Piper. Going down the hall. What you doing, Pipe? Come on, don't wake up Daddy. And there is like no sun. You can tell it's getting later in the year and towards fall. I woke up. It's still dark. And I've been up for 45 minutes. <laughs> so anyway, I had to find something to wear. I don't think I could wear my pajamas. I don't think they'd appreciate that. So I'll check in later. Hey guys, it's Tracy. I am here getting my infusion. Got it going. DHE. They push Zofran first. And then um, they started the drip. They're doing it slow, like 40 minutes or something, 30, 40 minutes, to watch for side effects. But other than that, it's going good. She uh, is ordering me a different medication to try for my fibro. Um, what was it? Effexor, hon? Effexor. Um, she said, let's try that for the fibro. It's, I guess, in the same class as Cymbalta and Civella, which I couldn't do. Um, I'm not doing Lyrica or Gambitin because of weight gain issues, so we're going to try Effexor for the fibro. So at least she's helping me with that too, and I'm not stuck without anything. And then once we see if I tolerate that, she is going to try me on an Alzheimer's medication, um, Nemendia, I think is what she said it was, Nemendia. Um, they use to treat Alzheimer's patients. She says it's not going to give you Alzheimer's or anything like that, but they have they have a study showing that it helped with migraine patients. And since so many of the medications that we take for migraine to either abort or prevent are, um, you know, like other types of drug use for other things like depression or seizures or blood pressure or something like that, it made sense. And I'm hoping, I don't know, maybe it might improve some of my cognitive issues. That's a hope, right? It's Alzheimer's medicine. So, well, we'll see. Um, I'm, but she wants me to try the effects her for fibro first, wait a week if it, if it gives me complications like I can't sleep or anything bad. She says just stop it, and then if then after we see how I do on the effects her, she'll start the Nemendia. She doesn't want to do two at one time because then we won't know which one's causing the side effect, which is really smart. So we do have something else to try, and she's given me something new for fibro. So happy times, and I'm hoping this DAG will stop intractable migraines. Maybe I can get a break and not, not be intractable for a while. This morning my pain was pretty low. It was only a five, so I'll take it. Hey everybody, it's Tracy. I am home from my first ever DAG infusion, and it went well. Um, no issues. They pumped it in really slow. They did give me um, half the dosing of Zofran before they injected the DHE. They ran it on a slow drip so in case we had any issues um, they could stop it and I wouldn't have too much in my system. 
Um, it took about 40 minutes for that, and they had a second dosing of Zofran if I needed it, but I didn't need it. So that went well. I was My migraine was a 5 when I got there, which is actually pretty low for me, and I'm down to a 2. A 2. So between my neck injections yesterday, which are doing pretty good, I'm not really noticing much from that. Maybe just a little bit of a headache, but nothing horrific or bad. Um, and my migraine's about a two. Um, my back, the rest of my back aches. It's not horrible bad today. It's not raining or anything today. Um, so I'm just tired from the DHE and I didn't sleep good again last night. I was got up really early and kind of kept waking up. But other than that, I feel pretty good. So, and she gave me a new me medicine to try for fibro. It's kind of in the same class as Cymbalta and Savella. Um, and there was another one, but um, like Gambitin and, and Lyrica, which I won't take because of the weight gain potential. So the Exifor, I think it's what it's called, is what she put me on for fibro. She said, within a week, you should know. If it keeps you up at night, she wants me to take it in the morning. But she said, if it keeps you up at night, then... After a week, you know you need to stop taking it because it's not going to work. Because if I don't sleep, then that flares up all my other pain and it messes with my depression and anxiety and stuff like that. So we, we can't be messing with that. Um, and then if that works, I'll continue taking that for fibro. And then she has an Alzheimer's drug that she wants to put me on, um, I guess, for like a migraine preventative um, to take on ongoing, and I don't know if it'll help with my existing cognitive issues, but because my migraine disease is progressing, um, she's wanting to do something like that. And she said there's been a study out that this, um, Midrin, I'm not going to get the name right, so I shouldn't even said that because I don't remember what the name was. And she's not going to put me on that until after I start the Exifer and make sure that that's going to work. No side effects. If I'm okay with that, I can keep that and then we'll add in a new one. She didn't want to do two at once because you never know which one's causing you the side effect if you start new medicines all at the same time. So we're going to do that. And then she said to call, she wants me to go on their message system through the hospital message system or whatever for their network for us to communicate and send her a message and let her know how the DHE did, you know, because they said for the next several hours it could continue to working in my system. They want to know if I got any greater relief than the three I was at when I left, which I did. I'm down to a two. And how long it lasted and any other potential side effects or anything like that. They want to know all of that. And I got a message her in a week, and then she wants to know how the Exifer, I think that's the name of it, um, for fibro is working. And if all is good, then she'll call in the prescription that Alzheimer's medicine, I guess, is a migraine preventative. And then I guess we'll decide if I want to come in and have another in-office infusion or if she will get me a prescription for a home injection that I can do as a rescue medication. It won't be an ongoing thing. It would only be a rescue if I had a migraine. I couldn't get back under control. I can... I can do the shot of DHE. So the goal is to try to prevent me needing rescue or abortive medications and try to control all the other pain and minimize my migraines to a much more tolerable level than what they've been. So good day, good day. I'm feeling good. Just tired. I think I might lay down and take a little bit of a nap. Um, I tried to eat, and with my... Uh, stomach issues that didn't go so well, but um, I managed to get something in without losing it, so I think I'm just tired. So anyway, that's my update for the day so far. So good. Talk to you later.